Hi, I'm Star, and this is my competition winner's story. Come with me. Yes! To the honest oh. job! Oh. It's Star! Yeah. With our interactive world. Star's prize is a VIP experience travelling to Stockholm in Sweden with a tour of one of the biggest gaming studios in the world. I'm just leaving the house now. I've got my case packed. We're about to go to the airport. I'm really excited. <laughs> I actually can't believe I won the competition and you'd never actually think you're the actual person that won. But now I'm at the airport on a flight to Stockholm, so yay! Wow, well, it's really cool. You can see all the tiny sheep in the fields and the clouds. It looks like it's in a movie. A star arrives in Sweden, me and the BP team are excited to meet her and show her around. Well, welcome to Stockholm. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, good. Should we get exploring? Yeah. Come on! Let's go. Star has never travelled to this part of the world before. So let's give her a quick tour of the city. National Museum, Royal Palace, souvenir shop. It's cold, it's been snowing, but it's nice though, isn't it? Feels like we're in a movie. Parliament House. But the best way to see the city of Stockholm is from this an exterior glass elevator that runs on a track over the largest spherical building in the world. Are you excited? Yeah. Ah! We're in a dome. So look, look over there. Where? There! That's where we're gonna go next. The adventure continues. The sightseeing has been amazing, but now it's time for the best bit of Star's Prize. A visit to one of the most famous game studios in the world and home to Minecraft, Mojang. Well, hello, Star. Welcome. Hello. I'm Joel, and I'll be taking you on the VIP tour today. Hello, Moxie. Hi. I see you have all your lovely Blue Peter badges. We need you to get a Minecraft badge <gasps> as well. No way! Thank you, thank you, it's really cool. We are going to show you around. Before we do, we have a little surprise for you. We have someone waiting for you. His name is Jeb. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And it's no surprise that Star is excited. Also known as Jeb, Jens Bergerstein is one of the original programmers of Minecraft. For a gaming fan, this is a big deal. Hi, Star. Hi. <laughs> Great to see you. Great to see you. I really loved your build. Uh, it was really cool to see. Um, I think um, most people really love the, uh, the maze you did. Like, it's a really cool idea to have the boats in there. Yes. Thank you. Um, I've got some questions for you. Can you tell me of any new features we can look forward to? Well, we are a little bit secretive. <laughs> I can tell you a little bit about the, the up, uh, next update that's coming this year. We're adding the Sniffer, which is a new fancy mob, which is super cute. And we're also adding what we call armor trims, which is a way to decorate your armor to make it look fancy. What's your favorite animal or mob in Minecraft? I really like the magma cube, actually. <laughs> Do you have any advice for anyone that might want to be a programmer when they're older? Uh, try to find tutorials and such on the internet. There are a lot of tools you can use that are free and uh, that you can just try out. One good way of learning programming is take someone else's example and modify it, essentially, essentially modding. And over time, you will get better and better at it. Some great top tips from the man in the know. Next, we'll chat to the head of the studios. Star, let me introduce you to Arika. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you, Star. Great to have you here in Stockholm. What inspires you to create ideas for the game? A lot of the inspiration comes from the community we have around us. We have a lot of diversity, a lot of different perspectives and insights. So I think bringing all that together, it's what inspires me to have all this amazing talent here in the studio and see them create together. Have you got any advice for me? My advice is to follow your passion and believe in yourself and just enjoy yourself. What age did you start programming? So I didn't stop programming until I was 18. Um, I always loved math, so that's why I started to explore a uh, program. What did you think of my design? So I love the maze and I love the room with all the animals. Mm -hmm. And of course, I love the roller coaster as well. So I think your, your world was really, really nice. Thank you. Star, Moxie, I have another little surprise for you. Come with me. Come on! Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 
So welcome to our <gasps> games room. This is where we play, relax, get inspired. Do you want to have a go at the arcade? Yeah. Whoa, I can't believe they have a games room in their office. All right, start. So this is the mode avatar maker. It's exclusive to the Minecraft team, where you make your own avatar. You're the first one not working here who gets to use this super cool tool to make your own mode avatar. So as you see here, you can pick your hair, you can pick your hair color, and then we will print it on a hoodie for you, an exclusive star mode avatar hoodie. Wow. What? Thank you. This software is so exclusive that we can't show you how it works. But we can show you Star's design, and here it is. Having seen Star's incredible world, the game team had to show her how impressed they were in true VIP style. So Star, everyone who works here has seen your great work, your great builds, and they're so impressed. We wanted to give you one last surprise. Everyone give it up for Star! A day. You should be so proud of yourself because even as people were clapping for you, you can see how inspired they were. And they were even a bit emotional as well, which shows that you are literally a star. So well done. It's been amazing. Like I never thought I would actually win. Thank you. This has been the best day ever. I loved that Waxy, but I want more Blue Peter. <laughs> then all you have to do is download the free and incredible BBC iPlayer app onto your phone and you can watch it again and again and again and again.